it's Mick from Oztrax 4x4 again just going to uh, show you my most recent mods other than the rock sliders that I have done while this whole COVID-19 has been going on so I'll flip the camera around here now and I'll show you a couple of them I have since switched out the SBI Pro for the DCC Pro uh, DC charger from Intervolt um, so this is my setup here as you can see that's the interval unit everything bolts up the same way via um, battery lugs uh, I've got solar running here now as well which does work really well I gave it a bit of a test run over the weekend managed to get the battery fully charged in the fridge running during the day with not a problem and only used 0.1 of a volt overnight it was a six degree night so the fridge wasn't cycling too much so that's um, my recent update I'll cut in some footage and show you the uh, SBI 12 set up originally and then we'll cut back over to this here it's a bit dirty at the moment so I've wired this in myself so I've done all the work um, this system here is a programmable battery isolator so I can set the voltage it cuts in and cuts out at unlike the red SBI 12 uh, that one there is a set voltage and it cuts out at 12.7 you know I can set this to cut into what end whatever if I wire this up correctly with uh, some heavier duty gauge wire to my rear battery, I will be able to use this to also jump start the vehicle, which is really good. So yeah, that's my setup there. I have also upgraded the battery. I don't know if sure, I can't remember if I put that in there last time uh, for the winch. So that's a fairly big unit. Still got to mount this. Haven't done it yet, but I do have the rev nut tool to do that now. So. And I do need to do some rocket cover gaskets because they're starting to leak. So, my other modification. So, I have done diff breathers, but I can't get to the automatic transmission because my hands are too fat. So, maybe when I um, get auto trans servers done soon, I'll get the auto transmission place to run a bit of a uh, hose up there for me. So I can hook that up and get it all finished. So that's that modification there, so that's all done. So as you can see, got rear diff on the left, uh, transfer case next to that, obviously transmission, it's not there yet, and front diff, it's also all wired up, so. Wired up, plugged in. And good on my English today, hey, so. So yeah, that's that there. Not a whole lot to write about, really. On that side of things, pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, I think that's all for now. I am going to go an airlocker. I've thought about doing an airlocker, but with an airlocker, you're looking at airlines wiring as well. If something fails on track, like an airline that starts leaking, then you're going to have big problems trying to replace a section of airline. Go an airlocker as long as you use it properly and don't shear pins off and that type of thing. I reckon you'd be able to get away with just uh, replacing a bit of section of wire if you happen to tear the wire off. But if you run that properly, it should be sweet. So that's my plan for it anyway. And um, yeah, I'll also be uh, looking at doing an upgrade on the tyres soon. Some muddies eventually. And that's some more cash. So that'll be happening as well. And nothing else really to write about. I'll show you the inside for the uh, interval unit. Forgot to show that as well. So. I'll uh, cut to that now and I'll show you the display and how that all works. This here tells me that it's a flow charge, a half an amp draw at the moment. Um, if I start the car up, which I will. Give it a sec. To kick in and do its thing. At the moment it's on a DC flow charge so it's not going to do a whole lot. That's my most recent mods. Uh, I have some trips coming up. As I said, did do a shakedown trip on this and to test the solar and everything. And uh, that went pretty well. Had a little bit of an issue with the winch seizing because I hadn't used it for a while, but I managed to, managed to free it up. Um, that's about it, really. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll uh, catch you next time.